Hello, and thanks for viewing our Kickstarter page. I'm Tim Hayes, and I'll be working on AI. Although I've worked on dozens of games, Avalon Lords is the most exciting game I've ever been involved with. Now, having worked on games with simplified user interfaces and reading feedback from avid gamers regarding learning curves, we will make sure that setting up the AI in Avalon Lords will be easy to use. The selection panels will have sub-selections, and um, those will allow you to quickly and easily get to what you need. Avalon Lords AI will be broken down into LODs, levels of detail, such that AI High is at the world view army level, AI Medium is at the squad level, and AI Low is down at the individual unit level. And when I say unit, I mean the individual soldier. So at the highest level, you can schedule armies for deployment such as defensive to defend your city and uh, offensive to attack an opposing army or town, etc. At the medium level, you can arrange squads, formations, and assign commands and behaviors as if you were the commander giving orders to the captain of that squad. At the lowest level, you can influence the behavior of how individual units will react in specific situations. When the user player initiates things that affect AI, such as buffs, debuffs, healing, summoning, orders, movement, placement of an army, that command will be sent up to the highest level AI on the server and will cascade on down the levels of AI. All users who are viewing that action will see the command reaction on their client synchronized to occur at the same time. Now think of any game where you have player stats that adjust during gameplay. Many statistical parameters are set up for physical and cognitive capabilities. Physical parameters are for things such as health, strength, speed, weight, rate of acceleration, rate of turning, and more, etc. Cognitive parameters are for things that affect decision-making abilities such as optimum distance to strike, when to attack, retreat, relative aggressiveness versus def uh, defensiveness, etc. These parameters are associated with the individual units under control of the low-level AI. And these stats cascade upward to the medium and to the high-level AI. And some things also cascade from the high-level down to the low-level AI. Just as individual person has these parameters, so do groups of people. So, as the individual units are marching around, encountering their opponents, performing their tasks, their parameters, or stats, will be adjusted on an individual basis. Now let's take uh, health as an example. As a swordsman, during combat, takes damage received from hits, his health goes down. Then the entire squad receives its health based on the averaged health of the surviving units. And that army receives the averaged health from the squads that it contains. Upon specific load balance timer events, stats for high level and medium level AI are updated in the databases and synchronized on the clients. As a player, the stats will give you useful information as you view performance stats on your armies and squads so that you can make more informed decisions on how they're performing with your current setup and uh, which way you may want to get ideas from on where you want to make adjustments to the AI prior to the next engagement. Of course, there are many other details to go into, but this is just a brief simplified explanation that will give you an overview of the system currently under development, which will be powerful yet easy to use. And uh, once the game is released, we will have example video tutorials that will show you how to set up specific situations. Thank you for listening, and please support our Kickstarter. And we thank you again. Don't forget to feed the kitty.